small, right? <laughs> to another video guys it's it's been a while since i had this this guy next to me right here you guys already know him jerry the coolest white guy i know i'm gonna have a cheers to that did you finish your beer i finished my beer you want another one or no yeah, i'm all right cheers <laughs> so yeah it's been a while since we've done a few videos you guys know why i haven't been posting that much but this last week we got everything to where it was supposed to be now so i'm posting two or three week times a week now um Let's just get to the point to what we're here, what we're here to talk about today. Harley Davidson posted up their new reveal. They're revealing a new bike. Uh, July, what is it? 15, 13? 13, 13. July 13th, right? So they did a little slow motion zooming into the bike. I mean, everyone knew what it was. I mean, I mean, if you're a Harley fan, you kind of knew what, what it was right away. But if not, then you're like, oh my God, what bike is that? What is that? But yeah, it's, it's the custom. It's a 1250 custom. It's a bike that well, they me, might have renamed it. Yeah, they probably renamed it. It's a bike that me and you, you're a fan of it, right? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, it's a bike that me and Jerry are huge fans, and we've been waiting for this bike for the past, like, year and a half. More so than the, well, the Bronx, I think, more so. Yeah. Um, so, what, when they first teased in, they started, you know, coming out with these designs of, you know, what's to come within the next few years, and that was one of their main things. Um, I was, I was, I fell in love with it, you know, dead on. I was like, wow, like, that's. That bike, I, I, I'm not in love I with the seat. It looks I like uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. change it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So 1250 custom, obviously, is gonna have the new uh, Revolution Max 1250 Re uh, Revolution Max 1250. Um, from what we've heard from a lot of YouTubers already and people taking out the Pan America, which has that same engine, uh, everyone seems to love the engine. It, they say that it's packed with power. Um, it rides very smooth. It is. It's, it's very nice. torquey. I rode it. Uh, oh, yeah, you took one. So perfect. Jerry, what do you think about the Revolution engine? I love the Revolution engine. It's actually, um, what you call it? It, it, it? It's very powerful, especially in sport mode. Um, it's got a lot of punch. I was The ergonomics on the Pan America were not great for me, but I, I You're think. You're tall, though, man. I think what happened was the dealer didn't know much about the bike. Like they were trying, I was asking questions and they couldn't really explain. Don't you hate that? I, yeah, exactly. But they couldn't really explain. Now I've been watching so many videos, I can pretty much go through everything myself. But as far as changing the modes and everything, the guy didn't really know that much. And then the seat, I, I mean, said, it's, it's, it has I said, a lot what, of fucking I, buttons on I, it. Though. Yeah, I said, there's what, buttons all over the place. On, you know? I said, what position is the seat? And he goes, I don't know. But there was a lot of short people sitting on it. So I'm assuming now after I got off of it, that it was probably on the shortest level, which is a couple inches shorter. And my feet were like, you know. Were, were you on the one that that lowers? Lowers, yeah, but they didn't. It wasn't turned on because he didn't know how to turn it on. Gotcha. Okay, so, so I kind of had. I was only on it for five miles. But but as far as performance wise. That oh hell yeah, it moves. It fucking moves. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I mean, I was on back roads and I was cranking. I mean, that's awesome. So I I think Carly Davidson right now is. I mean, after all the shit that you know me Jerry sometimes talk mostly me, do talk a lot of shit. A lot of mm -hmm. shit is like facts, but facts. Um, I think right now they're, they're they're heading in the right direction. I Absolutely. mean, even the Pan America, a lot of people hated that bike. From the beginning, you and yeah. I were fans of it. Yes. I was a fan of it from day one. I'm a fan of the custom I'm from still day a one. Fan. I was still thinking about buying one. Yeah. Um, huge fan of the Bronx, which super sad they... Uh, That's probably going to come back. Paused or canceled, I don't yeah, know. I think but they paused. Hopefully it comes back. Um, maybe not, because this is kind of like a naked cruiser. Yeah, but the Bronx is something totally different and at a 975 instead of 1250. Yeah, yeah, but in a way it's still kind of the same. Just Not more really. power. It's Street Fighter, it's a little different position. This is going to be forward controls like this, where the Street Fighter is more like... Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Um, but They're going to come out with other platforms, what's, what's, what's absolutely. <clears throat> but anyways, um, I mean, I feel like the new stuff they're coming out with, I'm a fan of the new stuff. Mm -hmm. I know that the, the diehard Hardy, uh, Hardy Davidson fans are hating the stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm about to go on my uh, rant. Not my rant. Oh, shade tree surgeon. I'm about to go on my shade tree surgeon thing and be like, these guys fucking hate these bikes. <laughs> I, listen, it, no, some, some of you guys are gonna hate the new stuff. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, I think they're doing an amazing job. Pan Americas, I, I, they're selling. I've been yep. seeing a lot of people, a lot of feedback. Well, because it's the race price point. Price point. They good. killed the live wire because of the price point. Yeah, very true. 
And now, now hope I'm hoping twenty thousand dollars and that bike would have been flying, flying out. off the shelves. Um, I would have bought one. Yeah, I would have bought. One. So let's get into the custom real quick. Um, talk about price point. What do you feel? I want to ask you. Uh, it's like a two part question. What do you think they're gonna price it at? And what do you think it should actually be priced at? If 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 it's high. I think they sh the bike. I think the bike should be priced at twelve five. But knowing Harley, I'm thinking they're gonna go 15, 16. But if it's gonna replace the Sportster, you shouldn't go higher than the highest Sportster, which was like the 48 for 12 and change. Yeah. I mean, okay. And so, if they come out with a 975 variant, they could price that at the so, so at ten thousand dollars. So, so that's what I'm thinking at. I'm thinking yeah. that this price, this bike might be priced at, I'm gonna say 13.9, 13.7. Yeah, but it should be 12.5. At 12.5, I would buy it. But I I think that they'll probably come out with this with uh, with a smaller CC engine. And $10, then charge $10, like ten thousand dollars. So I mean, hopefully that's the case and give people a few little options. Um, but uh, the bike looks amazing, aesthetic wise. It, it looks super cool. It's beautiful. And if it looks anything exactly like the pictures that we've seen, I'm gonna post up some pictures and videos here. Um, I, I think it's gonna be a hot seller. It's gonna be a good hot contender with um, with other companies. Um, and I think that, for example, India right now, India has an FTR, and you know, those, those, a lot of people are interested in the FTRs. I've had a lot of people send me DMs on my Instagram, which, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, it's the same name as my uh, YouTube, Marvel 87 so you hit me up on there. But I've had a lot of people ask me questions, and they, they, they thought when I went out there to ride the Chief that I was on the FTR, but I wasn't. Um, but a lot of people are, they're really interested in the FTR. So I think this might be like, it's not the same bike as FTR, but it's something that, you know what, Indian has the FTR, probably now has a custom where it's kind of like so different and well, the custom's modern gonna, and cool. The custom is going gonna, is gonna to compete with the Scout. I think if they come out with the Bronx, no, the Bronx will compete no, with the FTR. No. Yeah, it's liquid cool, just like the Scout. Yeah. Well, that Scout's got 115 horsepower. Yeah, right? but the, the Scout is more of a... Contender with the Sportster. That that mm, the not really because it's liquid cooled. If you go on the same thing, it the, the it's about the same size as the Scout. Yeah. I'm probably gonna look ridiculous on it. You'll probably fit perfectly fine on it. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Because you're a little vertically challenged. I'll be like, you know, overpowering it. This guy's the big, you know, tall for nothing, yeah. big for nothing guy. So. No, I mean, like I said, I mean the options. I'm hoping. The seat's very minimal looking and it's solo seat and it's got high pipes. So hopefully there's other options to either lower well, the pipes. It's gonna be like, kind of like a naked bike. So it's not gonna be the most comfortable thing. Like I said, I it's gonna be like a scout with a solo seat on it. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes or no? The naked bike would be more like the bronze. I, I'm, I'm very eager to see what type of technology they're gonna be adding into this. Cause from, I mean, from, if it has the rider modes, and if it has the dude, it, if it has the rider modes, and I don't know what some of you guys are gonna say, why do you care about riding modes so much? Because you do care about riding. Dude, modes. I was on an Indian Chief, and my favorite part about that bike was the riding modes because yes. it, it's just it's amazing. I mean, it's 2020, almost 2022. Every cruise yeah, right. riding modes and LEDs. And LEDs, yeah. And LEDs. But I, I think that that one has LEDs. Yeah. Because it has basically the light bar that the uh, Fat Bob comes with. Yeah. Um, it has that. So I mean, hopefully, it does come with LEDs. Um, hopefully some riding modes. If not, then and that's, hopefully under thirteen thousand dollars. Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it. Yeah. Um, well, like I really want to know what do you guys think about the custom. Um, what are you hoping it has? It might be renamed the Sportster even because they're saying they're teasing evolution to revolution. Ah, interesting. So it might be the new Sportster. I made a video about that. Because they might not want to kill the name, because the name is worth money. It's like, why would you kill the name? I, I, I made a video about that. I'm going to tag it in the answer you guys to see that. Maybe I won't, but uh, yeah, I did a video about that, the new Sportster. Um, amazing bike. I hope it does well. I want to see it. Um, I definitely, as soon as it comes out, I want to make a video for you guys and take another test ride and review it and go over all the little specs and everything, because I'm definitely in love with it. And hopefully, Harley, if you're listening, when it comes out July 13th, you have it in the dealerships within two weeks, within, not freaking no, no, five with, months. Within from the week. Not within two, two, within a week or two. I mean, if it comes out, I do. Like, have the bike. Like, at the dealership. Two, not not freaking there, like the Pan America you released three months later, four months later. We're all waiting around for it. Yeah, that's pretty silly. Pretty stupid. Pretty stupid on their marketing team. Um, that's it, guys. Drop your thoughts down below. 
This is Jerry, the coolest white guy I know. We got some more stuff coming out together soon. Um, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button. It's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new video. Because if you don't do that, then YouTube is not going to show you that I have a new video. And that's how the algorithm works. So, yeah. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride. And enjoy the Peace. ride, baby. Peace! That was pretty cool. Yeah. Open it.